welcome back. So in the last episode, we uh, finished the conning tower, and I thought I'd give you some nice close-ups of it. So, uh, you know, let's take a look at that real quick, and then we will move right along. Okay, so hold tight. Let me get some close-ups of this baby and take a look at him. Alright, next up we're going to be working on the deck and the hull, and at that point we should be ready to start painting and detailing and all that. So this is going to be a little space um, intensive, so just hold tight, I need to adjust a few things then we can get right to work, okay? The deck is assembled, or at least the parts that need to be assembled right now, <clears throat> and ready for painting. One of the weird things about this kit is the scale of these hatches. Um, I've been reading up a little bit, and according to some notes, this would be about 19 feet across or something like that, or nine feet across, that's what it was. They'd be enormous, but I am not going to try and get properly scaled hatches and fill those plates. So we're going to go with what we got. Not a big deal. So the next part would be to attach these two ends but we're not going to do that there's not a lot there to support it to begin with and it will hold better once it's on the hull so we're going to leave these like that so that we can paint them and now i'm going to assemble the hull itself and uh yeah that's going to be a bit of a a, a fit let me tell you okay be right back Okay, <clears throat> here's the bow on yeah, one side, and we're going to attach the submarine doors. Oh, wait. Okay, those pieces have to come out. Hang on, let me clean this up. Wow, those were some thick flashing pieces. I actually thought they were part of the structure. So... These are supposed to go in with these tabs toward the center. You know what it looks like? Honestly, it looks like this is supposed to be played with. Because that would mean they can slide open and closed. Interesting. To say the least. Twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five, and then this goes on top, and we've got some screws to attach it. Two medium screws and one short. The kit has 
uh, long, medium, and sh short screws in it. And you have to take those out and measure against each one to figure out which is which. some glue there. Let's take a look at what we got here. Yeah, this makes no sense. Are they supposed to go down farther so the torpedoes can exit? Huh. Let me review this. Be right back. Yes. These are meant to open and close. So, but they're just not very good. So what happens is there's a, there's a piece and then it slides up slides up and slides up but to do that they fit extremely loose and you have to cover over this little extension piece right here for them to close so it goes forward all the way to the front and then down forward all the way to the front then down forward all the way to the front this is where that loose fit work, works against it because it doesn't want to go all the way forward then down. So <clears throat> I think I'm just going to glue these babies in place with the torpedoes open like so. And then I might get a little piece of plastic tube to go in here so we don't see like just an empty void. Um, I'm also not going to cut out the uh, water vents. Um, I just don't think it's worth the effort, to be totally honest. So, there's one. Let's get the other one done, shall we? Hey! The second one went together a little easier, but still is janky is all get out so like i said gonna glue these open so no big deal the next thing we're gonna do is assemble both ends of the hull and once that's done we're not gonna do that part because that will come later oh wait a minute let me see something Nope, okay. The hull can just set down. Let me double check that. But nope. The hull has a notch for the deck to set into. So I'm going to have to attach the deck once I do this. So that's okay. Um, we'll just paint it. We'll just continue on and do what we're going to do. So. Uh, this is going to be a little difficult to film, but I will try to do it. So just hold tight. Here we go, kids. Okay, here comes the hard part. <clears throat> We need to connect the deck to the ship, to itself, and then put the hull together. Whew, this is going to be a monster. 
like I said, the ship has a really nice notch for our deck. So that's really cool. I really like that. So what I'm gonna do, and the ship is so long, it actually kind of bows under its own weight a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to attempt to use our really thin super glue and the accelerator and get this thing sealed right in, right where it needs to be. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, with the way that the front of the ship arches down, there is a lot of tension that is on this plastic. That section done. Avoid gluing my finger to the damn back.
Go. You got her. And it'll tighten up once we get the other side on and start screwing the whole thing together, I guess. Hang tight. Let me get to my instruction one. I need a bigger dirt work table. Alrighty. So. It's not a joke. All right, we need to fall back on old modeling ship standards. Hold on. We need, we need. Rubber bands. <laughs> Yes, from the ancient methods of old, we can still do that which we must do. Come on, line up. Line up, little lady. Be a good girl. Ooh, 
that's tight. Sorry, you can't see this part, or can you? I don't know. I don't think I got the camera zoomed far enough out. to strip these screws too. Ah, there it is.
that helped to line the top hole. Wow, that was rough. Okay, so the really cool thing is this comes with like these exterior panel plates where you know you have to screw all this stuff in, then it covers over and it covers up this one huge seam. So I think for today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those on and then I think we're going to call this an episode. So uh, hold tight and I will be right back. Okay, now the instructions say that for the best fit, you need to clear off all the injection marks on the inside of the um, cover plates. And that is 100% correct. Make sure you get those clean Otherwise, everything doesn't fit flat. So let's go ahead and get these plates on and see what we got going here. Alrighty, hold tight. got the hull assembled, the deck assembled, we got all the uh, cover plates on, we have completed the uh, conning tower, all the kites and submarines. The only thing we have left to do is add these um, hull ridges. I don't even know what the heck they are, but they go on the bottom of the, or the sub on either side. And then we got the rudder, elevators, and all of the, um, I believe these are, are net deflectors, if I remember correctly. And uh, that's all that's left, really, Prop. We're almost uh, completely done with the assembly. Once the assembly's finished is the big project, which is going to be the paint and weathering and making her look pretty. So, as always... Um, like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, all the youtube -y stuff, and uh, really appreciate you guys uh, joining me, and uh, as always, keep on modeling. Um, stay tuned, we're going to get some pictures of what we got assembled so far, and uh, get an exact size of this monster, so uh, 
hold tight and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.